What is going on, everybody? It is week seven of VBLS, part two, the daddy plan. Um, we're going up against Sly for the final match of the regular season. Uh, both of us have clinched playoffs at this point, so it's not really an important match for either of us, so I don't know how seriously Sly will be taking this, but it's important for me. I'm currently 6-0, so there's a huge target on my back, and I really, really, really want to have an undefeated regular season. Uh, no promises about playoffs, but I have made regular season undefeated runs before. Uh, but those have only been a VBLN. And that's the, that's the league that I run, so I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of conspiracy going on there. I'm not going to talk about that. But I haven't got one in VBLS before. This is the closest I've ever been. I've never had six wins in a regular season, so I'm going to do my damnedest to win this match and go 7-0. and um, I don't know if Sly's going to try to knock me out, but we're going to play We're gonna play this one for serious. And... Uh, that's going to be tough because Sly has a cracked team, as usual. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm up against this week. So, Seattle Swallows. Um, as you can see here, there are not 11 mons. There are only 9. As usual, Sly drafts super top heavy with a great top and even some really good bottom mons, but I don't respect Duskull and I definitely don't respect Munchlax in a non-Dynamax format. Maybe that'll come back to bite me, who knows, but uh, I really don't see either of them coming this week. Ghosts are particularly horrible against my team, and much life doesn't really do much either. So, uh, the nine mons that I am worrying about, they're all really fucking good, which is kind of scary. Uh, even Fungus, which I have rated as a red here, is probably not. It's probably at least yellow. It's an amazing NFE, another amazing NFE in Purloin, and the rest of the mons are just great by themselves. Uh, this is definitely a Tailwind focused team. The big offensive mons are all clumped right around here between 80 and 85. So, What's the best way to support those mods? I don't know. Two of the best Tailwind setters in the game, Talonflame and Latias. Uh, Talonflame will go first to set Tailwind. Latias will always live the hit to set Tailwind. So I need to get around that some way or another. And also, you can also just lead it with Fungus to guarantee a redirection onto it. And then I'm kind of shit out of luck. Uh, so that's the that's what I'd imagine Sly's plan would be. Um, and within those three big offensive threats, at least just those are just the three biggest. Everything on this team is a threat in one way or another. Zerkatry is, I think, like number four for kills. Mammoth Swine is number is also really high up there. I know Mammoth Swine from both divisions is the number one leader. So uh, Sly's Mammoth Swine is definitely a big chunk of that. Definitely have to respect it. Uh, try, I'm, I'm looking at my work computer over there waiting for uh, an email notification. Uh, anyways, yeah, so that's what we're dealing with here. Uh, Mawile has actually been super over overperforming, at least compared to what I thought it was going to be. I thought this thing was dumpster, but, I mean, when you have Intimidate, Sheer Force, and the best type in the game, you don't really need stats. <laughs> you can just kind of make it work. Which is funny, because Mawile and Sableye were kind of uh, parallels, right? They both came out in Gen 3, both had shitty stats, and were both awful for a long, long time. But they've both gotten good, because uh, Game Freak has blessed them with... Great abilities, a mega evolution, great abilities, best typing in the game, decent typing. I didn't really notice that until right now. That's kind of crazy. But anyways, his whole team's great. Uh, Zerkatry and Mammoth Swine are insane. Mawile's also pretty good. Purloins and Fungus are probably two of the three best NFEs. Uh, I give you one guess as to what I think the other best NFE is. Um, and then, even just beyond that, it's just it's a really solid, scary team. But I just think it relies a bit much on Trick Room, or sorry, not Trick Room, Tailwind. Um, so my plan is to get around that. And the way I'm going to be doing that is by denying Tailwind and then just killing their shit first. Um, I have a pretty high natural speed advantage on this team. If you look, uh, they have a huge gap between 110 and then 85, and then a clump between 85 and 80. So thankfully, I have a good bit of mons that can naturally outspeed that, so I can go modest, I can get the extra 10% where I need it, and still outspeed things as long as I deny Tailwind, which I think I have a pretty solid plan of uh, blocking it. Um, I'm really going to be relying on... Oh, awesome, I didn't even finish the sentence. Going to be relying on my double dark lead, which I'll talk about here in a little bit, to help stop the tailwind in either with either setter. And then I have Spritzy in the back as usual to just set up tail, trick room, be annoying, never die, all that kind of fun stuff. You'll see in the Spritzy section how much, how many insane calcs this thing lives. Um, and lastly, I have Venusaur here. doesn't really do that much, but it just totally shuts down Zerkatry if I have to. Zerkatry doesn't learn... Zerkatry learns three attacks. And all of them are resisted by Venusaur. So if I need to, I can bring it and hopefully stop that thing in its tracks. Starting off, we got Sableye, the Mind Goblin, back at it again. It, I missed it so much last week and it sucked because I could have brought it. Steve didn't bring a Weezing at all, so it was just on the bench for nothing. Uh, Fake Out, Faint, Quash, and Poltergeist is a decent moveset this week to pretty much always prevent uh, Tailwind. Or 
I can either deny Tailwind always or match it, which matching it, that's fine if I have to. Come on, I need to know if I have to go to this meeting or not. Um, anyways, uh, Dark and Ghost is awesome into Purloin. Purloin can't do shit to this mod. It, it's immune to Prankster because it's dark. It's immune to Fake Out because it's Ghost. And Purloin, I think it gets foul play, or play rough. I know Lipar does, but Purloin's so weak it doesn't do anything to this mod. And guess what? I have a Focus Sash. Even if it was the strongest fairy type attack off this team, which is Mawile, I'm still going to live the hit. So, uh, it really just makes Sly's life quite difficult. Um, and if I bring it, if he does bring Fungus, I bet he'll probably be expecting a, uh, a taunt. So that also just kind of helps fight off a Mo uh, not a Moogus, baby a Moogus, without even having to click any buttons. Uh, I have Poltergeist as the only attack this week, so hopefully there's no, like, barriers that are getting eaten and then I'm totally flailing. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, Poltergeist is a guaranteed to a KO on Latios, and if it's not max HP, there's a there's a tiny chance that it can kill it in one hit, so that's pretty cool. Um, and Poltergeist also just does a lot of damage to Mammoth Swine. It's to a KO on, honestly, most of the team, which is kind of crazy. It's just such a high base power. It does a lot of damage. So, my plan to stop Tailwind is Sableye plus Hydreigon. With the double darks, I'm immune to any kind of prankster stuff, so I can't get, like, prankster... Thunder waved or anything like that. If I get faked out on the first turn, that's fine, because I can use fake out and fake out uh, Perloin's partner. Um, and I have guaranteed Okos on the likely sets that Sly would be bringing for either of these guys. Um, I get a Draco Meteor. Assuming it's not super bulked out, I get the uh, Oko. And it's you have to put a lot of bulk into Latios to survive a fake out, and then a faint plus a, uh, a Draco. Oh yeah, I have faint on Sableye, so that if it's like if they have, if they try to run Quick Guard or something like that, I can break through it. If they try to protect, I can break through that. And there's just not really much they can do to stop it. Um, so Draco Meteor kills Latios, Head Smash kills Talonflame like a million times over, and then I can just get great damage with Draco Meteor anyways. If it's fully offensive Mammoth Swine, I can kill it in one hit from full, which it's probably not likely. There's a good chance Slide's going to run some amount of bulk on that, but it's always a two KO, um, and just do great damage here. And I, I live some pretty good hits here, too. I have some calcs down in here in the blue for some reason. But what the only defensive calc that's important is that I live the Ice Shard. And that's Max Attack Bandit, so I always live an Ice Shard. I will die to a Draco from Latias, but we can get around that. But my Draco also does KO Amistar most of the time, and it also K uh, Fire Blast KOs my while, so cool beans there. Um, step one... Well, yeah, step one is deny Tailwind, and then Blacephalon comes in, and Blacephalon begins its two-step process kill something, then Mawile comes in, and I Will-O-Wisp it on the Sucker Punch. And then Mawile's totally fucked, and then it's just uh, completely out of commission. I changed this. This isn't Spell Tag anymore, it's Culper Berry. Uh, just to help if, if I get stuck in with Purloin and have to take a foul play, or if I do have to take a, uh, um, what do you call it, a Sucker Punch from Mawile without burning it first, I can live that. And I get, I still have enough damage here to uh, kill most things. The reason I switched off a of spell tag is I can't even guarantee the Oko on Latios because Shadow Ball is just not high enough base power. It's crazy how much of a difference base power makes where Sableye can nearly Oko Latios. Well, this thing can't. And this has an attack stat of, oh, what, 150 something? And Sableye has an attack stat of 75. It's just crazy how much damage ramps up more with base power than uh, uh, raw stats, which is something I've definitely learned on this one. A good example of that is Overheat, which is a neutral hit on a thick fat Mammoth Swine, is pretty damn close to a guaranteed Oko. It's a favorable roll in my odds, uh, and that's assuming max HP. If it's anything less than that, it just gets better and better for me. Um, but yeah, Lecephalon does a shit ton of damage really, really quickly, and actually has a little bit of bulk on here to live some stuff. Oh yeah, this is an old picture. I used to have just spit F, now I have 8 in HP. I have a decent chance to live a Draco Meteor, a good chance to live Brave Bird, and this is the, uh, the nice little Sucker Punch KO calc. Uh, I never die, even if it's not burned. If it is burned, then <laughs> I think I, what, I take two of them, so that's awesome. Uh, deals good damage, nothing is really, I mean, nothing at all here is a fire resist and a dark resist, unless you bring in, or fire and ghost, unless you bring Munchlax, which would kind of suck, but then I just will a wisp it, and you have a useless Munchlax. Uh, we have Venusaur next, this is the eat shit Zerka tree, I don't want to have to prep for you too hard, Mon, I have. Resists everything it does, it lives any single hit on this team, and dishes out sleep or damage. We're either falling asleep or taking a shit ton of damage for Venusaur. Um, so really the only big offensive calc here is that my least Storm pretty much always kills Mammoth Swine, unless it's like a Soul Vest, uh, which is huge because I pretty much never die in return from it. And assuming I can get Speed Control, that kind of just seals the deal on that thing, unless it wants to waste an Ice Shard, which is fine by me. 
Uh, so Leaf Storm pretty much always kills Venusaur. Then look at all these hits I live. I live a Meteor Beam. I live a five hit Icicle Spear most of the time. I live a Brave Bird. I live a Soul Dew Psychic. I live a, I live a Brave Bird again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just deal, I, I take lots of hits with this thing. I can put things to sleep, I can deal chunks. That's all Venusaur needs to do. Uh, we have Noivern next, uh, mainly kind of, mainly support, somewhat offensive. This is if I see Fungus and I'm kind of scared about a Fungus plus Tailwind lead. I can just set up my own Tailwind in response, that's really not too bad. Um, Draco Meteor does tons of damage. It is a guaranteed Oko on Talonflame after the Raybird recoil, assuming it hits me first. It's a guaranteed Oko on most Latios. It's an Flamethrower is an Oko on Mawile, and Draco Meteor is nearly an Oko on uh, Zerkatry. I don't know why that says guaranteed. That is not guaranteed numbers. So essentially, I deal big damage to one thing. I set Tailwind, I die. Um, and lastly, we have Spritzy again. Spritzy is such a nice kind of like flex flex tape kind of sixth mon. Can deal lots of damage with Moonblast, which is kind of crazy with how weak it is. It's just the benefit of having high base power moves, right? And then Spritzy never dies because I have super bulked out Mon with great natural defenses and an Aviolite. Uh, Mawile really shits on this, but I have lots of other Mons that hurt Mawile in response. Standard Disruptive stuff, Moonblast, Trick Room, Encore, and I actually switched out After You for Aromatherapy if I need it. Uh, there is a possibility that Fungus comes in and starts putting things to sleep. I really want to have the ability to bring in Spritzy and uh, wake everything up if I have to. Um, I also have Aroma Veil here because that's the best ability. And also, it's just particularly frustrating to deal with for uh, for Purloin. If I have something in against it where I just protected or maybe I uh, locked into a bad move that it wants to lock me into, I can just preemptively switch in Spritzy for my partner and totally protect uh, the mod that Purloin would be targeting with Encore from any bullshit happening because we know how good Prankster Encore is. So that's essentially the team. Um, things to just keep an eye on. If Purloin's in and can't Encore, there's a good chance it will. So Spritzy's a good switch in there. The general strategy is just to delete these two fast mons, then clean up everything else, and uh, I didn't really mention this at all, but if Sly does bring Purloin and Omastar on the same team, there's a good chance it could be a, like a pseudo rain mode, because I don't have any rock resist on my squad this week. I didn't bring either Quagsire or Dugtrio, because they both kind of lose to Omastar either way, so I didn't even bother with that. But if I do see a Purloin and an Omastar, there's a good chance it's uh, manual rain, which would kind of suck, but... I have TL, uh, what do you call? I have ways of dealing with Amistar, so not too worried. Uh, so that's the game I thought I was going to play today, but I have a meeting tonight that I have to be on site for, so we'll not be back until very late. So I'm going to stop this here and come back tomorrow and hopefully get our seventh dub. See you in a bit. Alrighty, we are here. We've got, oops, Spike Myth Cup. Anyways, we're here. We've got the final battle of the regular season of Season 7 of the VBLS. Season 7, Week 7. Uh, going up against Sly. And we're going to just hop right in. Alright. Uh, Munchlax is here. Munchlax is here. That's crazy. Um, let me go to the drive real quick. Update my little thingy-majiggy. Munchlax, what the fuck, dude? What else do we see? Uh, no fungus. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, you like to see that. Latias, Mamazwine, Circuitry. No Mawile either. It's very weird. No Omastar. Much lax. Alright. Uh, that's a... Not a... Not a six I would have ever predicted. <laughs> go. Munchlax does totally shit on Blacephalon, huh? Unless it gets burned. Uh, Munchlax could actually be a problem. Alright. Let's see here. Um, Purloin plus something else is probably lead. Mm. Oh, there he goes. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I mean, what do we do here? Let's see, there's the Tailwind option. Um, so let's see here. Uh, Venusaur loses, maybe, probably beats, probably beats, loses, beats. Noivern loses, loses, beats, 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 meh. Spritzy, meh, meh, beats, beats. <laughs> uh, so I think Spritzy's actually a good bring here. Um, Lead Sableye with Cephalon. And then pair that with. Or wait. Sableye. Uh, Hydreigon might be better. Blacephalon. And. Uh, okay, so Blacephalon. Beats, loses. Beats, beats, beats. Ties, maybe. Uh, Sly with a tactical, not wishing good luck. Classic Sly. <laughs> no, but he's a he's a good player. He's uh, he's talked about why he doesn't do that. Just a sign of respect. Neither of us don't need luck here. Um, but I do need luck on finding out my fucking lead. That's for sure. Poltergeist. I'll bring Venusaur in case and then Spritzy in the back? Let's see. Alright, interesting. 100% attendance. Look at that. Um, so I'm going to start with faking out here. And uh, I bet that's probably a pretty obvious play, so I'm going to try to burn the Munchlax. Oh, that's fine. Wisp is nice. Love to see... Fissure! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> okay. Um, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That's insane. Um... Wow. Holy shit. All right. Um I guess I'll quash and leaf storm, right? And then that goes down. Let's not see another fissure. Facade 2, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Holy fuck. We're gonna Poltergeist here, and I guess learn not to burn that thing next game. Gotta tell you, that was not high on my list of things to, uh, to prep for. <laughs> Fissure Facade Munchlax, what the fuck? Nice beam, it's fine. That's nothing with a crit. Poltergeist, Haban Barry. Oh, that's a big crit. Oof. All right. Curse Lax is okay. Now we have two babies. Um. I'm just gonna faint here and Moonblast. Well, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, I think actually, faint plus Moonblast. Is kind of guaranteed. 
Oh no. Oh no. Goodbye, Spritzy. Goodbye. Alright. Well, I revealed all four of my moves on Sableye in the first game, and that kind of sucks. Um, holy shit. That's bad. I guess we'll just faint and uh, sludge bomb. Probably should not have burned it in hindsight. Oh no. Not the first time that's happened. Fisher. Oh god. <laughs> this is so fucking scary. Dude, what an endgame. Oh. I'm, I'm hosed. Uh. All right. I mean, what are the odds of hitting that? Let's pull up the calculator. I don't know that off the top of my head. Alright, 0.7 times 0.7. What the fuck? Oh, numlock. Fucking numlock. Times 0.7. Jesus Christ. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, you're gonna win. <laughs> I guess we'll spam Poltergeist. What? I didn't even know that worked that way. Huh. Look at that. The more you know. Ugh. Holy shit. Alright, we're gonna, uh, forfeit that one. Alright. <laughs> what an endgame, man. I never thought that happened. Alright, I should have encored with Spritzy. We're gonna lead Sableye. Uh, we're gonna lead... Hmm. Venusaur looks pretty okay. Um, ugh, this is tough, man. again. I think I'll just leave Venusaur this time. Venusaur, Spritzy, and um, maybe uh, let's do Blacephalon again. Does this thing get inner focus? It does. Shit. How fast is it though? 150, so it'll outspeed. Um, what is it? It's dirty and focus mold breaker. 
I think I'll. F mm. I'm gonna... No, it's definitely in her focus. So I'm gonna quash here just to get off the sleep powder. Because it probably has ice punch or something. Sleep powder, thank you. Coaching. Oh, god damn it. Man, I should have respected Munchlax more. I didn't think this thing would cause me so many problems. So I'll switch out to Lacephalon here. And, uh... I guess I'll Sledge Bomb onto Sock. Sledge Bomb's great damage. Jesus Christ, Munchlax. Shadow Ball here, and go for a Sleep Powder again. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I could take down this Munchlax. I should have brought Quagsire, but then it would just eventually die to Fissure. Nice. Sweet powder hits. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Gotta love it. Right, so last game. Um, uh, all right, shit. So I don't know what item that is. Probably Scarf. I haven't shown off Protect yet. Come on. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, what a what a mon. Cephalon. Oh my god, it's gonna have thick fat too. It's not gonna die. Okay. Might as well Shadow Ball there and uh, bring out uh, this thing, whatever the fuck it's called. Boink. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do here. We're gonna have to do a huge overheat here. And uh, a fake out, just because it does slightly more damage than Quash. <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking disaster this is. Well, um, the plan there is to uh, overheat again and just hope it doesn't hit the fissure. 20, and then it's going to rest, right? That's fine. I'm going to switch out this thing. And uh, the plan is to just go for Earth Power Spit F drops. I think I can Encore that and hit it with just more Earth Powers. Let's see if on I don't actually know how Encore works when uh, I'm on sleeping. Let's go for it. Where's my spadef drops, man? Thank you, thank you. What are the fucking odds on that attack? 
All right, well, it's not Encore anymore. Oh, good thing we got the, uh, the special attack drop. All right, I believe my entire team can outstall Munchlax, but I, I'm actually not sure. Moon Blast has a ton of PP, though. That's crazy. Twenty-one plus ten is it definitely can't kill me from there. Nineteen. Come on. Oof. Blast. Um, we blast is that, and we'll sludge bomb. We blast, sludge bomb. All right, and at this point. I can just afford to go for it again. It's down low enough where he either chooses to kill Spritzy or uh, Fisher. Oh my god! Alright, that's fine. Actually, that was a misplay. I should have. Um, Oof. <laughs> what a set, man. All right. Did we ever find out what Mammoth's line is? Sableye Spritzy, that seems like a pretty good lead to me. Or maybe not. I like Sableye Venusaur. Hello, friend! Again, we try to sleep powder and just hope to God that we put the much likes to sleep before it starts doing things. What speed is much likes normally where it's speed tying? Is it just 25? It's exactly 25. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, we get the sleep. I'm gonna probably sleep the Manimus one. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Ah, oh, god damn it. We're gonna poltergeist and sludge bomb. Nice punch. Yoink! Nothing. 41. What is that? Leftovers. What the fuck? Leftovers sock? <laughs> What fucking world is this? 
Like, did I ever hit Sock with a, 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 a feint? No, I didn't. Uh, Venusaur. Sludge Bomb. Did a... Uh, 41. So it's some amount of HP. Probably around that. Faint does nine. Great! So we'll faint. And, uh, I guess there's no downside to sludge bombing that slot. Quick guard. Boink. All right. Munchlax is awake and fucking shaking the earth, man. Hate to see it. Was Peter right? Peter was absolutely wrong. I'm going to faint and switch to Blacephalon. Break the Sash. Get the Yoncore. The Sod. Nice. That was a good turn. That's like fucking nothing. Literally nothing. Faint did. How on earth did Faint do 29%? Right? Purloin? Oh, it's not a violet. Duh. Let's see. Lycephalon. Yeah, Shadow Ball's definitely a kill. We're going to switch in Spritzy here, and just Shadow Ball. Hopefully it's not a Protect. Sucker Punch is fine. Holy shit, that does so much damage. What a sh dog shit Mon Placephalon is. This should- No! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god. That's brutal. Line 50 plus one. So Shadow Ball should kill it. Boink. Please don't kill Blacephalon. Please, for the love of God, do not kill. God damn it. Faint. Sleep powder. Okay, we're gonna faint. We're gonna start sludge bombing. We just need crits. That's all we need. Faint and a sludge bomb. If I get this next round of faint. Oh, big crit! Literally, not even ironically a big crit. Risk fucking anything there. Woo! Holy shit, man. Jesus Christ. So many fissures. <laughs> Just left and right. That was a, a stressful ass set. Okay, uh, so yeah, that was a fun set. Not what I was expecting at all in the fucking slightest. So, uh, GG's to Sly. Uh, we'll probably face him again in the not too uh, distant future but uh, uh yeah so that was that we are on to playoffs as the number one seed wow feels nice to say that um flash forward to me losing fucking o2 in the first round of playoffs against whoever that'll end up being <laughs> so uh yeah great game uh very well done to sly with a crazy team like that <laughs> so uh, yeah that's that's that i'll see you after the the extra content week after my honeymoon. I'm going to Hawaii tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that'll be that. We'll see you on the flip side later.